In this step-by-step -step tutorial, you're going to learn how to create professional YouTube animations in under 10 minutes. Animations you can use across your videos to save time and elevate your content. Take a look at this. Pretty cool, right? Hey, I'm L Wong and today we're going to create these must-have animations for your YouTube videos using a tool called Create Studio. I'll walk you through the use cases for each one to help make your videos stand out. Starting with the subscribe call to action button, this little animation is your best friend when it comes to growing your subscribers. Instead of constantly reminding your viewers to subscribe, you can let this sleek animation do all the heavy lifting for you. So to create this subscribe animation, once you're inside Create Studio, it's really simple. Just head over to the Studio panel, then click on YouTube, and let's filter this for subscribe. You will then see a range of pre-animated designs. Let's pick this one. Simply drag and drop it over to the canvas. And let's see what it looks like. Okay, so to edit this, simply double click to go inside the group, double click again, and let's replace the username. And for here, maybe you can put your social media handle. And to replace this image, simply click on it and hit replace. You can upload your media over here. I've done so already, so I'm just going to select my photo. Then let's go back to the timeline and let's play this. There we go. A subscribe animation done in seconds. Once you're happy with that, simply click on the scene you created, right click, save to my scenes, and this will be located over here for you to reuse in your future video projects. Ever notice those clean, stylish name tags that YouTubers use to introduce themselves? That's called a lower third. To create your lower third, go to the studio panel, click on animated titles, then in the category, let's filter this for lower thirds. And in here, you will see lots of designs to choose from that has been pre-animated. Let's go ahead with this simple one. Simply drag and drop it over to your canvas and let's see what it looks like. And then to edit it, simply double click on it, double click again. Let's change this to my name. You can also change the color for this. Maybe you prefer something redder. Okay, and you can actually save this as a favorite to reuse it in your brand designs. And you can also change the corner radius. Let's make this less and less bring this closer to our text and go back to the timeline and see what it looks like. There we go, very nice. Once you're happy with that, right click, save to scenes so that you can reuse it for your other projects. Scene break titles are essential to keep your viewers engaged as you transition between topics. To create a scene break title, again, let's head to the studio panel this time, let's go inside the animated titles and select the category Type Pro. And in here, you'll see lots of animated titles to choose from. Let's go ahead with the box lines. Let's see what this looks like. Very nice. And to edit it, double click. Let's go inside and replace the text to your next topic. Maybe this is lesson two and you're talking about, say, strength training okay and again you can change the color with maybe one of the favorites that we added earlier you can also do the same for the border if you wish but I'm pretty happy with this so let's go back let's preview this 
Very nice. So once we're happy with that, again, right click, save to scene to reuse this for your future projects. Text overlays are perfect for highlighting key points or codes during your videos. They are simple yet effective animations that really make your message stand out, especially in tutorials or commentaries. To create a text overlay, again, let's head to the Studio panel, Animated Titles. Let's select the Text Pro again. And these text boxes look suitable, so let's drag and drop it over to the timeline. And typically, a text overlay would maybe be somewhere lower here. Okay. And once we're happy with that, again, you can double click to change the text. But for now, let's just save this to my scene so that we can reuse it for the future projects. Smooth transitions add a polished, professional touch to your videos and help to maintain a natural flow between scenes. In Create Studio, under the Studio panel, Transitions, you will see a large variety of transition effects. And these are also categorized into multiple categories. For example, if you would like a paper transition, they've got it. Fire, light leaks, and even cartoon transitions. So for this example, let's go with the light leaks and simply drag and drop it over to the timeline on top of two scenes. Okay, then let's see what this looks like. There we go, very nice. Right within the timeline, there's also a quick transitions where you just need to hover in between two scenes. And you can see this um, transition icon over here, simply click on it. And there are also a bunch of quick transitions over here that you can choose from. So for this particular example, maybe we could try the fade through effect. So from this scene to the next, it just fades through like this. While YouTube intros aren't always essential, they can still be a great way to establish your branding, especially for tutorials, webinars, or video series where consistency matters. Let me show you how to create a simple yet impactful intro in seconds using Create Studio's pre-made templates. So for the YouTube intro animation, let's head over to Scenes. And under Scenes, let's look for the YouTube Scenes. And as you can see, there are a bunch of YouTube animated scenes already done for you. Let's click on this one for the YouTube intro. Let's drag and drop it over to the timeline. And let's see what this looks like. Very nice. So once again, to edit this, simply double click to go inside the group. So to replace this image, Let's just replace with my photo. Let's go back to editing my channel name. And let's go back to the timeline to see what this looks like. Very nice. Once again, if you're happy with that, right click, save to my scenes, and this will be presented here for you to reuse for your future projects. Finally, the end screen. Instead of just finishing your videos, use the end screen as an opportunity to guide your viewers to the next video or playlist. This not only encourages them to stay on your channel, but also help boost your watch time. So let's head to the studio panel, go over to the YouTube, and for the category, let's filter this for outros. Then in here, you can select the design you like. Let's go ahead with this one, drag and drop it over. Nice and simple. So as usual, just replace this with your own image. Okay, and once you're happy with that, right click, save to my scenes. 
when you're uploading your videos on YouTube, simply replace these two placeholders with your existing videos on your channel for them to watch next. Now, this is just the tip of the iceberg of what Create Studio can do. I used to struggle with video creation until I discovered Create Studio. It simplified my video creation process and now allows me to create engaging animations without the hassle of complicated editing. If you're ready to start creating better videos faster, click the link below to see all the animations you can make with just a few clicks. Normally, this is a paid subscription tool, but right now you can get it at 70% off for a one-time fee with exclusive bonuses through the special link below. But this special access offer won't last long, so do grab the opportunity to check it out and follow along in my next tutorial where I'll show you how to create eye-catchy hand-drawing doodle effects for your YouTube content.